Peace. My name is Marlon, a.k.a. Mr. Marlon. My story begins in Queens, New York. Queens, the foundation. Like Nas said on his song, the world is yours. I love my borough. A lot of dope rappers have come out of Queens. MC Shan, Craig G, Tragedy Gaddafi, Run DMC, LL Cool J, Tribe Called Quest, just to name a few. As a kid, I fell in love with hip hop and graffiti. I remember getting my first stereo and it was a sound design, with two tape decks and a record player. That was the best gift ever. The first album I owned was by Run DMC. It was called Sucker MCs. I can remember staying up on Friday and Saturday nights with my headphones on, making tapes so I could listen to them during the week. I was getting drawn into the culture. I appreciated the way rappers and MCs were able to express themselves in their own way. I got introduced to graffiti at a Barnes & Noble bookstore when I came across a book called Subway Off. I flipped through the pages and begged my mom to get it for me. I became a fiend for this new type of art. To this day, my penmanship and signature tells it all. After graduating high school in 90, I went to college in LI for two years. I always wanted to be an architect because of my love for drawing as a kid. As a kid, I thought it was all about drawing something on paper and someone creating something out of what you put in front of them, and voila. Yeah, not so much. So I ended up dropping out and getting a job and quickly realizing that having a nine to five was cool, but it wasn't my passion. I needed to be free to create and not just anything, but some dope shit. Fast forward to summer of 1999. That's when I put pen to pad again and 2520 was born. Let me tell you what it is. I'm a city boy. I'm a city boy. I'm a city to city. I'm a city boy. I'm a city boy. I'm a city boy. See the New York niggas is the craziest. I'm a city boy. I'm a city boy. I'm a city to city. I'm a city boy. I'm a city boy. I'm a city boy. See the New York niggas is the craziest. If we want to leave my mark, once I leave this earth, do something for the culture, I could say that, you know, I did something where particular artists, a lot of big names, was rocking my gear. Raekwon was one of them. He was like one of the first artists that had rocked my uh, Staten Island shirt. He had posted it on Twitter. 50 Cent, I had sent 50 Cent a hat, and he, uh, he actually wore it like the next day as soon as he got it and it was up on Instagram. So that gives me satisfaction. So say if I'm not at the party, it's like I'm there. Once I see artists and there's people rocking my stuff, that, that, get me, that gets me excited and motivated to just keep creating more fly stuff for people. And with the whole NYC collection, I got that idea from uh, Bonds, Bonds, uh, Bonds from Queens. He had did the, uh, the classic number seven shirt. Everybody was rocking that all, all, all over. Uh, so I put my own twist on it. I was like, I'm gonna do all the boroughs: Staten Island, Brooklyn, Bronx, Queens. I ain't do Manhattan, but in Manhattan I just did Harlem. But, you know, I think it was more fly like that instead of just doing Manhattan. So that, that was my five borough collection. To this, to this day, that, that's one, definitely one of my best sellers, the whole NYC collection. So definitely be on the lookout for that, for the re-up. Future for 2520, just stay relevant in the game, fly designs, keep creating, have conversation pieces, stuff that uh, people can rock five, 10 years from now. Like, damn, that's fresh, where'd you get that from? Stuff to you. Just, just stay relevant in the game.